So one of the things I really hate about mainstream media is if they want to brainwash you, they can literally make it so, right? Because they could write an article that makes zero sense if you're smart enough to see through it. And, you know, I ran across this article about this app called Temu. Basically, it's like AliExpress, eBay, and those type of things where you're put in touch with the manufacturer and to buy it for super cheap, right? So that you can save money. So this helps the poor people. It helps them save money so they can be richer in an environment where everybody is getting poor. Have you gone to a grocery store? I mean, it's expensive. Now, you want to buy an electronic product? They're trying to say, hey, you should buy for 100 bucks, But you could buy it here for $5. And, they're, you know, they, these mainstream media are trying to kind of say, hey, don't buy for $5. Buy for $100. But it's only worth $5, right? That's the thing. And let me just go down here, and it's very sophisticated how they're doing it because, you know, this, unfortunately, depending on how you see a Chinese-owned e-commerce that is Boston-based in the U.S., right? So, they, you get in touch with these Chinese manufacturers that are making, like, you know, things, right? Let's say computer parts, moissanites, gems, whatever you want to buy. It's just exactly like uh, Alibaba, right? Which is... The manufacturer except it is consumer to I mean business to consumer so they're selling you these things for uh, manufacturer price and they think it's a bad thing right this is what CBC is trying to say it's a bad thing and it's a bad thing because I don't even know first of all they're talking about low cost low quality and I I'm putting. I'm trying to think about this 20-year-old student at this thing, and I, and then I'm thinking about how this entire thing is fake. Because first of all, she bought a keyboard, a wireless keyboard, for $35. Why would you do that when you could just go on Amazon and buy it for $20? I mean, it's it, it makes zero freaking sense. And you know, they're talking about similar models to this. You know, a keyboard is a keyboard, right? It's wireless. What the hell do you want? <laughs> you type with it, right? But anyways, I got onto this app and. You have these LED lights, right? And they're only 20 bucks, all right? And, you know, where she got the $35, I don't know. Because you just buy it off Amazon, Logitech version too, you know? That at least has a sort of a brand name. And instead of doing that, she goes onto this app and she buys it here for $35. So she's talking about how the keys were chipped, right? And if the keys were falling off. First of all, these keyboard technologies was invented in the 1980s, 1970s, and... You know, it's not like a new technology, right? It's not like it's so hard to invent or so hard to make. They know how to make it. It's like, you know, what is the technology to a cup, right? I mean, a cup is a cup, right? You're, you're not going to say, hey, the, the cup, you know, there's a problem with the cup because the cup, you know, doesn't have a certain color or something. It's ridiculous. Like, you know, I, I'm more like you're purposely making something out of nothing, right? And... Because it doesn't make sense. None of it, it makes sense. Because the technology in these keyboards is not high. It's like caveman era kind of technology, right? And second of all, you wouldn't buy it for $35 because you could buy a better keyboard on Amazon with a brand name for $35. So let me go down here. And, you know, now it gets into the juice of it. You see, here's the real situation. They don't like China, right? And, you know, it gets into TikTok. I mean, well, what does... TikTok have to do with somebody that is poor being able to buy a product for cheaper. I mean, first of all, do you want the poor people to get poorer? Because the only way that the poor people would get poorer is if they spent a great deal of money buying something that isn't valued at that much. So let's say they bought the keyboard for a hundred dollars, but they could buy they could have bought another keyboard for five dollars, right? I, and then you know if they bought the keyboard for five dollars, which does pretty much the exact same thing as a hundred dollar keyboard because what is the technology of a keyboard right now you know they if they bought it for five dollars they still have ninety five dollars left to do something else but now they're like no, no 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 you don't you shouldn't you shouldn't do that you know you should give us the ninety five dollars i'm like i don't want to do that i don't want to be poor so essentially this article is like trying to keep you poor because <laughs> that's the only thing i could think of right because you're saying this, these things. What does TikTok have to do with you saving $95? Nothing, right? And then, you know, what does their marketing campaign, right? And what does everybody else having to use it and, you know, they feel the benefits, that's why they use it, have to do with you? Nothing. 
right? So it's funny how these mainstream medias and these journalists, and they, you know, I want to talk about just journalists. They purposely picked a Chinese person to write about a Chinese app and then made a scenario with a Chinese person. I mean, what are the chances of that? Very rare, right? I mean, why didn't you pick somebody else, right? But no, they purposely did that so they could talk bad about it and they can make other people poor. That's what I feel, right? I mean, I, like, the technology of keyboard is not high. I mean, imagine them saying, oh, the, the cup was bad. You know, the cup had a different color. You know, or the cup was, like, was green. Now, you know, I got light green one. It's like, it, it's totally ridiculous. And it, it's funny how they try to make something out of nothing and you know they do some you know most of the times they get away with it but this app has nothing i mean this app is essentially allowing people to save a lot of money trying to put them ahead right because i don't want to be poor 